everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor, episode 18. We need to go meet Ashara, who we're going to try and manipulate into working for us. <laughs> oh, defeat the Republic forces. I mean, I got. Ah, I gotta kill everyone. That is just. Why? Why do you do this to me, game? Do do you do you really hate? Oh. So I don't need to kill everything. Just just three things. Right. Thanks. Yay! You heard my complaint. I guess somehow. Uh. Oh. Wait. Ha 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 ha! Hold on. This makes no sense. No, I'm sorry. I gotta kill these. I gotta kill these guys because I'll come out of the cutscene and they'll attack me. This makes no sense. Okay, now that everyone's dead, we should be good. Sith, I should have known. Don't think you can kill me easily because I'm a Padawan. Even Master Osera can't beat me with a lightsaber. Such intensity. Such fire. Those are Sith qualities. Jedi are not without emotions, but they channel them toward the greater good and the protection of others. Is that the holocron? You surprise me, Sith. I didn't think you people knew how to tell the truth. Strange. I've never held one of these before. I expected it to be heavier. Ah. Uh. They are remarkable objects. Care to have a look inside? I don't know. The Masters don't let Padawans handle holocrons. Well... They also didn't want you coming here, but it worked out. Well, I guess it can't hurt to look. Behold the teachings of Darth Andral, Lord of the Sith. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. No. What am I saying? Is that what the darkness feels like? Uh... Your defiance is foolish and misplaced. I'll never become Sith! Yes, you will! I love how those soldiers just in the background are like, Huh? What's going on? Huh? The fear, the anger, the pain... I relent! What do you want from me? The ghost in the Jedi Enclave. I must speak with him. The ghost? But... No. Of course. I will do as you say. I'll go ahead and prepare the Enclave. Make sure no Jedi are around. You could, in theory, go and uh, let them know that I'm on my way. But something tells me you're, you're, you're not going to do that. At least you better not do that, otherwise you will die. Wait, am I going the right way? No. I... That's a long way I need to go. Okay, then. Well, I get the feeling we're practically finishing Taris now. Hmm. I wasn't expecting finishing it this quickly. Ooh, crystals. Pretty crystals. But yeah, I really wasn't expecting to finish it so quickly. Um, I'll find something else to do. Maybe there'll be some companions that I can talk to. Ooh, and there's rackles everywhere. I need to avoid them. What if I can get through this whole place without any rackles seeing me? They won't even dream of me because they've never seen me. I mean, I would have slaughtered them anyway, so they wouldn't dream of me whatsoever. But you know how every person you see in a dream, every, sorry, every person you see in real life, chances are they'll appear in your dream. Possibility. Um, good. You two won't attack me. Well, I go get these crystals. Um, going down here, am I? Uh, am I? Uh, you better not see me. No, I've got to get trapped into everything. Um, 
Oh! Right, I was going to say, where the hell am I going? Okay, get into stealth just in case. No Jedi? No Jedi? Well, there are Jedi. What a surprise. What a surprise, Ashara. Totally didn't see this coming. Or does she mean just trying to stop the Jedi from where the ghost is? Okay, because of course it might be... Oh! Fudge buckets. Um, yeah, because I can see it might be a little bit difficult to get rid of the ghost in the uh, entire area. So, the ghost? What? What am I saying? The draw... <sighs> Sometimes I should just shut my mouth. The Republic, the Jedi, yes. Sometimes I should just shut my mouth, though. Because I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, what a surprise. Jedi. I'm sorry, Sith. I couldn't do what you said. I just couldn't. You were right to tell us, Ashara. The Jedi Enclave is no place for Sith, and this one gives me an uneasy feeling. Blame it on my misspent youth. This is not a flippant matter. I won't have dark side rituals performed in this Enclave. Ha! <laughs> like you get a choice. Oh! Okay, Andronicus, calm down! Jeez. Oh, you're dead. Uh, it's just you, Ryan. There we go. That that was that was easy. Were you trying to help a shower? Did you actually attack them rather than me? I. Uh, okay. You killed them. You killed the masters. Oh, boo hoo. Obey or perish. Never to summon me again. Kiss. Excellent. Truly remarkable. My lord, you are utterly clever and resourceful. Thank you so much for clearing out the Jedi for us. Uh don't do something stupid. If this is what I think it is, know that I don't take kindly to betrayal. I'm sorry it had to end this way, but you were dead, and Darth Thanaton made a better offer. He's made me a lord. Unfortunately, he's also asked that you be executed. My regrets. Yeah, you're not going to last, uh, 30 seconds. In fact, I don't even think you last 10 seconds, let alone 30. Cool, that's, that's you dead. What's this bloodshed in my grave? Guess! I warned you not to summon me again. I warned you to leave me in peace. To keep your Jedi away from my grave. Please, I'm sorry. This Sith needed to speak with you. Your apology is worthless. You must die. Let the go. Huh? Okay. Wait! Please don't kill me! Don't let him kill me! I'll do whatever you say! Agree to be my apprentice and I will spare you. Whatever you say! What is happening? What are you... Strange. How long has it been since I felt at peace? Centuries at least. What do you want that you went through all this effort to speak to me? Power. I need your strength. Ha! Huh. You don't have the ability to overwhelm me. Lovely. Sith, what did you just do? I took the power that was rightfully mine. What happens now? I am your master now. I don't know. I guess I can't return to the Jedi after this, can I? You could. Fine. I'll come. There's the easy way, the hard way, and then there's your way. The more fun way. 
Indeed. Hey, Shara! I'm sorry, I was meditating. In the last five seconds. Okay. Who may need to speak to me? Kem needs to speak to me in a moment. Again, there's Treak. Treak, I'm not going to do. Treak was just more of a... Oh, I have Treak on this character. Um, we already know Treak's story from... Um, Kranitoko, so I'm sorry. Looks as if we have two new travelers. The ghost and a little Jedi pet. Wonderful. I know. The pirate thinks he has another ghost story for us to investigate, too. My lord, it's Carl, your apprentice. Corrin's here with me. We don't have much time to talk. Thanaton tried to make us his. Claimed you were dead. I know. We managed to free Drummond Cass, but his lords have been hounding us through every sector. Where are you now? We've set a course for Quesh, a nasty little swamp world. The warfare on the planet should allow us to hide from Thanaton. We need your help. We took something from Thanaton, something to help you beat him. Blast! Ships hit! Emergency landing on Quesh! Hurry! If Thanaton kills your apprentices, you will appear very weak indeed. It looks like hunting ghosts will have to wait. Okay, well now we've got another objective that we can do in this episode. Level 38, uh, so there's Kem and Andronicus I need to talk to, um, and then of course there's going to be Ashara, where is Ashara? Ashara! Where, where, where exactly is she located? Um, there's HK, and Ashara is there, ah, okay, that's fine. Uh, but we'll travel to Quest first, get this mission out of the way so that everybody can go back to their positions. Oh, I've got to use my ship's holo terminal, have I? Why? I already know. Oh, I probably need to get the location of where my apprentices have landed. Okay then. My lord, it looks like Thanaton's Marin will catch us before you arrive. Corin and I will try our best to stave him off, but Lord Cineratus is not a man to be trifled with. The item we stole was the key to a hidden entrance to Darth Thanaton's private meditation chambers. It is the perfect ambush spot for when you have enough power to face him. If Corrin and I don't make it, we hope you'll avenge our deaths. Crush Thanaton, and usher in the new era for the Sith. Was that meant to be like a message for her, for me, or could I not respond back? I guess it was just like a message that I couldn't respond to. Fair enough. <sighs> First of all, Shara, you can go Maybe away, because Andronicus is my companion for this yeah, series. Here for an Sorry, I take... I think uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, select one reward. I'll take a crystal. Actually, no. Yeah, I'll take a crystal. Thanks. And then abandon that and never do it again. Thank you. Just needed the inoculation. Thanks. And I thought Hutta smelled bad. I guess it's true. There's no good thing the Huts can't spoil. I know, right? It's, it's, it's like their odors all over the place. Ugh. Why not Quesh actually smell? I wish it kind of had like the uh, the um, smellow vision thing, which they had for stuff out of Sick Tree, just so I can smell what Quesh is actually smelling like. Hopefully, it's not smelling like hut farts, but probably. I kind of wonder how any of these animals would survive with the water that they're drinking. I guess it's toxic, but sort of safe enough to to drink, because they oh, there's a crystal that I want, because uh, of course. The toxicity of this planet has probably allowed them to adapt to the toxicity of the water. Oh, 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 oh! Crystal, 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 crystal! Stop being yellow. I want you to be orange. Can I get more points that way? Oh, well, that tree's phased into existence like they do in Snowman's in Snowman Sky. Yeah, it's Snowman Sky. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a sequel to No Man's Sky, um, where every planet is just covered in snow and snowmen that follow you everywhere. Um, yeah, that was very reminiscent to No Man's Sky, is what I was trying to say. Because I always hate it in the game when trees just fizzled into existence. Um, no Man's Sky, what a, what a piece of crap that game is. Apprentices, I'm here to save you. Please still be alive. Um, I don't actually know if you're still alive or not. And if you're not, then um, be ghosts. That way I can absorb your power. Yeah, that'd be good. Apprentice... Hi. Where are my apprentices? Are they in there somewhere? Dead? Probably. Ah. Uh. 
Are you the Sith who killed my apprentices? Well, her eyes just open. Lord, I assure you it was nothing personal. I just prefer to stay off Thanaton's hit list. Or do you really think I have nothing better to do than chase a pair of low apprentices across the blasted galaxy? Yeah, that. Now, as often happens when two Sith first meet, one of us isn't leaving this room alive. So I propose a toast. Why is... To the honourably defeated. Why... why is... Number two doing that? I'm not impressing... I'm touching nothing. Um... Yeah. I will gladly drink to your death, Lord. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Lord Cineratus. My father's choice. Call me Jevon. I can't say it will be a pleasure to die, but I'll try not to make a fool of myself. Ah, oh, well, at least you're respectable. Use her out a moment, though. Oh, cheat! Surprised you're not going. How are you? How are you shooting flames from your wrists? How are you shooting a grenade from your wrists? And how is there something coming from the sky? I have no idea. Oh, you're dead. Well, that was quick. Cool. I'll take the chamber key. Um, it's a shame. Where are my apprentices? They're, they're gone. Oh, okay. All right, we're done now. Oh, I've got hiccups because I'm, I'm sort of like drinking. I drink in between um, scenes, in between cuts. Um, oh, the music's just stopped. Oh, and it's back again. <laughs> I've got a lot of talking to do to my companions. A lot. Your old apprentices are dead. But they managed to steal the key to Thanaton's meditation. And so goes the last of my legacy. Yourself accepted. But this key... Perhaps the death was not such a waste. Thanaton's private meditation chamber would be the perfect place for an ambush. We done playing with ghosts yet? Where I come from, man takes your dignity, you break his teeth. We shouldn't rush to seek revenge. We can't afford haste. I'd advise against facing Thanaton until you've gained more power. Just to reiterate, I find it very peculiar how Lysira was like, to Thanaton's meditation. Not meditation chamber. Go back and check, you'll see. He killed my apprentices. Your apprentices. Whatever. I will crush him. You know, it's just hearsay, but there have been strange rumors coming off Hoth lately. Ships crashing mysteriously, and crews hearing voices. Some pretty level-headed people I know are spooked. Ashara and I will look into these Hoth rumors. In the meantime, you should consider replacing your apprentices. You will appear weak if you don't try to restore what Thanaton destroyed. I heard a new group of acolytes have arrived on Korriban. Slaves. The kind that Thanaton always passes on. Our old friend Harkon is training them. You should have let me kill that imbecile when we had the chance. He can be difficult to suffer at times, but he may yet prove useful to you. An apprentice from Korriban is a special honor. It says you have status, and you will have your pick of the group. Ooh. Go to Korriban where we study these hot rumors your pirate friend produced. I mean, when you say pick of the group, that's not going to happen. It's just not. Um, it will automatically be given to me. So, we'll do one round of each companion, and then we'll finish apart from you, Treek, and you, HK, as well. Enough, finally. A reprieve from that monster. Apprentice, I promise. Get me out of this infernal body, and I will give you power like you cannot imagine. If I get you out of this body, it'll be to kill you. At least we can finally be frank with each other. I very nearly changed my mind about the ritual, you know. I genuinely like you, but it was that or death, and I, I don't like anyone that much. Well, that makes everything okay. Uh, don't be a poor sport. Surely you're used to how this works by now. If I can't have it out of this body, the least you can do is ensure that the monster is silenced for good. I'm not your apprentice anymore. I don't do your bidding. Then you best hope I don't find a way to take control on my own. I'm interested in seeing this threat realized. It could be entertaining. As cocky as ever. Remember, kill me and you kill your precious Ken too. He's not like precious to me. 
Not exactly. Um, he's all right, uh, but I, I, you know, I hurt him where he needs to be hurt. Uh, ba 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 ba. Shara, let's welcome you to the ship. No, this isn't right. What am I doing? I'm not Dark Side. I'm not Sith. You seemed pretty Dark Side when you murdered your enemies in rage. They were Sith. If I let them live, I'm responsible for all the other people they murder. As a Jedi, I've sworn to end this war, even if I have to kill every Sith in the galaxy. There can never be peace in the galaxy as long as the Sith exist. The Sith thrive on endless war. So, let's say you kill all the Sith. The really important ones, at least. What then? You can't kill them all, and the survivors will bicker amongst themselves. Someone will fill the power vacuum, maybe someone powerful enough to unite the Sith. You might prefer the evil you know. So what do you propose? How will you change the Empire? Um... By any means necessary. I see. I'll follow you, for now. But in training they warned us that entangling with monsters, we risk becoming monsters ourselves. I will not go against the Jedi teachings or my conscience, but I'll do what I can. Uh, Shara, Shara, Shara. You disappoint me, child. You disappoint me so. And draw on a coast. I gotta come clean with you, Sith. Uh oh. I wasn't always the scoundrel you met on Tatooine. I used to run in the Republic military. Made captain before I wised up and deserted. Call it misspent youth. Why are you telling me this now? Carl sent me a message. I guess bailing him out got the Republic military's attention. Seems they've added treason to the charges of desertion and piracy. Guess they're not big on former officers traveling with a Sith. Anyway, if things get hot, I might need to hop off the radar for a while. If things get hot, this ship is the safest place for you. The Republic military police are no match for me. Heh. <laughs> Thanks. Good to know you got my back. Good job you're not Corso Riggs, or he'll be all like, No! You're a woman! I can't put you in harm's way! No! I just won't allow it! Anyway, we're done now. Uh, next time, we're heading to Korriban to get ourselves a new apprentice. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.